she suddenly got attacked in this video media won't show. It happened again. Hillary Clinton was signing her books this Saturday, when conservative journalist Laura Loomer crashed another Hillary Clinton book signing. Jefferson Lee then screamed, Bill Clinton is a rapist. Right after he greeted Hillary and shook her hand. Security then quickly shut her out. Watch the astounding video below. Laura Loomer then tweeted out something even funnier. She said that the secretary service giggled. Here is another angle of the event. Share this if you are so tired of seeing Hillary, although you got to admit that it is hella funny to see her on her loser apology tour. Get this out there, embarrass them. Oh no! Madonna just got very bad news today, she will not survive what just happened. Oh, oh, oh how to might Madonna has fallen. This week the infamous singer had one of the worst weeks of her life. Showbiz 411 reported that Madonna released an album titled Rebel Heart last week on Friday. The album has only sold 3,848 CDs according to HitsDailyDouble.com. Wow! Madonna said in January during the Women's March that she thought about blowing up the White House. Here is her infamous quote. I'm angry. Yes, I am outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Crowd cheers, but I know that this won't change anything. We cannot fall into despair. As the poet W. H. Auden once wrote on the eve of World War II, we must love one another or die. I choose love. Are you with me? Crowd cheers, say this with me, we choose love exclamation mark dot we choose love exclamation mark dot we choose love. A spokesperson for the Secret Service told the Gateway Pundit is aware of the comment that Madonna made. There is no investigation though. There doesn't need to be any. Nobody is listening to her dumb album. Spread this around everywhere and comment God bless our president if you are proud of our president. Madonna go and stay in Portugal. Nobody is listening to you anymore. Right after Lebron James attacked him, Trump hit him back with his secret weapon. Cleveland Cavaliers superstar Lebron James fired back at President Trump on Saturday after he said Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors was not invited to the White House anymore. Lebron then stood up for Stephen Curry and tweeted the following. Here is what Trump tweeted earlier on Saturday. Trump is going straight at these no-good sports stars. They need to learn a lesson or two about who it is that pays their paychecks, us the people. Watch the amazing moment again below. On Saturday the NFL commissioner tried to talk crap on Trump, instead of lecturing the players kneeling during the national anthem. What a shame. Look what he said via the Hill, NFL commissioner Roger Goodell fired back at President Trump on Saturday for encouraging league owners to remove players who take a knee during the national anthem, saying Trump's divisive comments show an unfortunate lack of respect for the NFL president then shot back really hard. Hell yes. That's why we love Trump. He speaks honestly. Screw Lebron James. You gave a ton of money and time to Hillary Clinton. She's the same lady that called young black males super predators. Share this if you stand with Trump and want sports stars to shut up and show love for this country. Thanks for reading. Melania Trump just jumped on a plane alone to do something even her husband has never done. Melania Trump has been on fire recently. She has been working overtime as the first lady and, as such, America is falling in love with her. However, all the speeches and meetings up until now have nothing on what first lady Melania did this morning. She hopped on a plane, alone and flew to the Invictus Games in Canada for her first ever solo trip representing the United States. Even her big trip was not the biggest thing about her day. Moments after Melania landed in Canada, she went and met with Prince Harry of England. Not even the president himself has met with the British royal family yet.
That did not stop Melania Trump from appearing fully professional to the point where Prince Harry even seemed a little intimidated by the former Slovenian supermodel. Sure, it may not be the same as fighting it out with North Korea, but what Melania did today is impressive in that it shows how great of a first lady she really is. She held her composure and represented our country very well. It also proves that despite the tabloids claiming Britons don't like Trump, that the royal family has zero problems associating with them. If you are proud of how Melania did today, help show your support and share her amazing story everywhere. When Antifa showed up in Texas today, cops immediately made them regret coming. Hundreds of left-wing Antifa terrorists came out to protest a Dixie Freedom rally in Austin, Texas on Saturday. The police weren't putting up with the violence, either. Watch the insane video below. Screenshot of the video below. Watch these Texas cops teach Antifa why they shouldn't mess with Texas. The Texas Confederate militia decided to postpone their rally to a later date because of violent threats via Antifa. The rally was thus cancelled. Antifa protested hardcore anyways. This Antifa scum is gonna need his mama to get him out of jail. Screenshot. He fought the law and the law won. Screenshot. This kid got his ninja Halloween costume out for the event. Screenshot. Why was Antifa allowed to show up with masks and weapons? If they banned the masks, then the violence would pretty much end. It's disgusting to watch Antifa terrorists scream at police officers and call them murderers and violent pigs. Thank God for these Texas cops. They aren't taking any crap. Share this if you love our police officers. Let's show them some frickin' support. Sound off below with a message of kindness to our police officers in the comments. Even if you just say a single nice word about them. An hour ago Trump did something to North Korea that has never been done before this century. U.S. bombers have flown close to North Korea's east coast to demonstrate the military options available to defeat any threat, says the Pentagon. It was the farthest north that a U.S. fighter has flown in this century, says the BBC. Tensions have risen recently after Pyongyang's nuclear program. At the UN, North Korea's foreign minister said that Trump was on a suicide mission. The man in the video is named Ri Yong Ho and he is trying to talk smack on Trump. He said that America paid dearly for his speech in which Trump said that he would totally destroy North Korea. At the same time as his address, the Pentagon announced their show of force and called North Korea's weapons programs a grave threat. Image Source, U.S. Pacific Command This mission is a demonstration of U.S. resolve and a clear message that the president has many military options to defeat any threat, it said in a statement. We are prepared to use the full range of military capabilities to defend the U.S. homeland and our allies. We have seen a lot of liberals attacking our president for his stance on North Korea. Share this if you support our president more than anything. Jimmy Kimmel's puppet master revealed, look which politician is coaching him to oppose Trump. This is massive and shows how tied to politics entertainment has become. It's horrifying. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's office offered Jimmy Kimmel technical guidance to help him attack Trump's attempt to repeal and replace Obamacare. This is maniacal. Schumer's office provided technical guidance and info about the bill, as well as stats from various think tanks and experts on the effects of Grand Cassidy, a source closed their conversations told The Daily Beast. Kimmel broadcasted about his son's medical issues in May. Kimmel attacked Cassidy recently before the fight against the Obamacare repeal. This guy, Bill Cassidy, just lied right to my face, Kimmel said before showing interview with the senator in May. Stop using my name, Kimmel said this week. He said he would only support a health care bill that made sure a child like mine would get the health coverage he needs, no matter how much money his parents make, Kimmel said. 
Kimmel also praised McCain for opposing the bill. This has got to get out, now. The Democrats are working with the media and we need to stop them. Share this with everyone to expose who Jimmy Kimmel really works for. How do you think we can fight back against these people? Comment below. Lindsey Graham just joined McCain and did something horrible to Trump. Senator Lindsey Graham has reaffirmed his friendship with Senator John McCain after McCain announced that his opposition to an Obamacare repeal bill co-sponsored by Graham. My friendship with John McCain is not based on how he votes but respect for how he's lived his life and the person he is, Graham said in a statement. I respectfully disagree with his position not to proceed forward on Grand Cassidy Heller Johnson. McCain announced today that he would vote against the new GOP bill to repeal and replace Obamacare. McCain voted against the last Republican bill to repeal and replace Obama's health care bill. McCain has been the key vote in the Republican effort to pass legislation. The deal was co-sponsored by Bill Cassidy, L.A., Ron Johnson, W.A.S and Dean Heller, NEV, and is the best chance to repeal and replace Obamacare. I feel an obligation to fix this disaster and intend to push forward for state-centric health care versus Washington knows best health care, Graham said. Share this if you are tired of these politicians talking crap and not getting anything done. This is a disgrace to this country. We need to repeal and replace Obamacare now.